Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a very exciting, well, to me, update. Well, it's more like a finale and an intro. Anyway, you would have saw the title of this video. This is the finale of my Pando's Eyeshadows project of 2022. I'm very late to this, it's almost March, but <laughs> I was kind of delaying this, hoping that I would make more progress, but I honestly just realized that um, like standard way of doing this project does not work for me. Because I don't like to do my eyeshadow in using different palettes. Like, you know what I mean? I don't like to go and like open this one, use this shade, then go to this one and use the next shade. That is not fun for me. The whole like appeal of eyeshadow palettes to me is that they're like a curated color story and you kind of have to be creative and use this kind of like paint. Like th these are the colors you have and do something fun with it. That's how I like to approach eyeshadow palettes. So Focusing on only one shade of each palette is not something that works for me, but I do really like the concept of this project, which is pulling random eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep that part of it in, but what I'm doing, <laughs> I feel like every time I film an update to this project, I change the rules, but... I think this will be fun. So what I'm going to do is pull random palettes and then in those palettes choose a focus shade. So meaning like let's say I pull the sultry palette. I want to use the palette itself five times and every time I use it I have to use the shade that I rolled randomly. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it sounds fun in my head. So, but I do have an update today because my old goals were, um, I was pulling the palettes randomly and then I had to roll a shade randomly and that shade I had to use 10 times. And that was like not, that's not working because it's taking me like a year to roll out three things. So yeah, this is what I'm doing instead. So I'm pulling, like I said, a random palette for five uses, but every use I have to use the random shade I pulled. Anyway, so let's do the update part of this, well, the finale part for last year, because I did hit a goal of 10 uses on the ABH Sultry palette. And the shade that I uh, randomly rolled was obviously the shade I would like to pan the least. <laughs> well, aside from the black, um, the shade Dystopian. And the only reason I hit my goal on this is because the last three uses, actually four uses, I actually used this shade 11 times. So I actually surpassed my goal. But the last four times I used it in my eyebrows. So that's how I met my goal on this. Because I've mentioned this in other videos, I don't like this shade as an eyeshadow. It's too pigmented. It sticks down where you put it. It's hard to blend. It looks patchy. Yes. So, <laughs> but I am happy that I reached my goal on this. And I did get a lot of use out of this palette as well because sometimes when I was reaching for this I was like well I might as well use other shades so it's kind of like this new way I'm going to do the project is how I ended up doing it anyway so I did reach my goal on this finally I am happy I do really like this as a brow shade but I have brow powders that I should be using anyway um, so I don't need to use this palette for that and it's funny because this shade and this shade have like pretty big dips in them and those weren't even like the shades I was focusing on but they're just so dusty compared to this one 
This shade is not like the typical ABH matte formula. That's why I don't really like it. It's not dusty and for that reason, that's why it's not as blendable, I guess. So yeah, I'm happy to put this back in my collection. I am going to keep it, of course. Um, so yeah, like I said, I used that shade 11 times. The next one, I'm rolling out. But now I'm switching to the new rules because I only used this shade six times. Um, but that means I used this palette six times because I, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm counting the use of the palette plus the use of the shade now. So this is the shade, of course, the only one that seems to be used. And I could have honestly probably hit pan in this shade if I tried because it's kind of like when ColourPop puts super shocks in palettes. You know how like you put your brush in and you just like move the product? That's what happened to this. And actually this hole was even deeper before I used it today. So this is the the palette I'm wearing. And I kind of had to like pack the shade back down so the dip is not even as large as it was. But if I didn't do that, it would just like crumble out of the pan. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, I do really like this shade. I think it's the only shade in this palette that has that formula, which is funny because it's the one I rolled randomly, but it's like a duochrome. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it, it see how it looks like basically just like a typical champagne shimmer in the pan, but it actually has like a a vibrant pink shift. So I love using it as an inner corner shade. And that's why it looks like this because I use my inner corner brush to get to pick it up. And it works a lot better if I spray my brush. I realized that today because it is quite chunky and flaky. Anyway, did I even say this is the Barbarella palette from B Beauty London? I don't think so. I got this in a BoxyCharm and it's basically a palette of uh, lid shades. <laughs> it's all shimmers except for this blue, this brown, um, this shade that I tried to use in my crease but it's very light. And this cream shade that I used to set my eyeshadow primer um, oh and this shade here which looks like a muted black um, but everything else is a shimmer and I love the colors I just don't know how I'd ever like get this blue like how to incorporate that blue with the rest of the palette I don't know but anyway, it's rolling out because I used it six times and my new rules are that I have to use each palette five times. So I met my goal on this one as well. It's kind of cheating because I changed the rules in the middle, but I'm okay with that because I have so many palettes and the whole point of a project like this for me is to rotate through my palettes, not necessarily pan in a whole eyeshadow. So the next three, I haven't met the five view goal, so they're staying in. The first one is my e.l.f. Cream and Sugar, little bite size, what were these called? Bite size palettes, I think. And the focus shade was the cream shade, so I was meant to use the shade 10 times, but now I'm only gonna use this palette, well, the shade, and the palette as a whole three more times because I've already used it twice. So this one should not be difficult. This is a very basic like everyday look that I can do. So gonna be super easy to hit my goal on this one. And I'll try and show you. So oops. Um, it doesn't really look like I have much use on this. It's not a super dusty formula. It looks like I have more use on this shimmer, to be honest, because I use it as an inner corner shade. But yeah, I really like this palette. So the only thing I find I miss is a more mid-tone brown to use in the crease. Like, because you kind of, if you're using this alone, 
you only have this matte cream shade and then this very deep brown. So that's my only complaint, but it is a quad, so yeah, what can you do? And it's like $5, <laughs> so I can't complain. But I'm going to use this three more times before it can be rolled out. The next one was very exciting at the time because it was new to my collection. The Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette that I got from BoxyCharm. And I've used this once. Once in this project, but I used this palette before. And this is the shade that I pulled to focus on, the shade Sam. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of has like oil seepage it's that kind of formula but it's really pretty and i love this color story so i don't mind using this four more times and it's very like everyday appropriate as well so that's the lunar beauty nude prism i probably should have been swatching these right <laughs> okay Let's go back. Yeah, even touching this dystopian shade, it feels like so dry. I think it honestly gets drier and drier by the day, like it's starting to expire or something. Um, but that's the shade dystopian. The shade, I didn't even say, it. I'm so bad at these kind of videos. <laughs> The shade in the Barbarella palette is called Kofi. So you can even see like how chunky it is in a swatch. And I'll try and like blend it, but it, yeah, you can see it's really pretty. There's a pink shift, but you really have to like wet your brush um, to get that to stick down, especially on the inner corner if you want the color to show up. And then I'll swatch this cream shade, but it's like super boring and probably won't even show up on my skin. Oh, I just got something black in there. <laughs> yeah, you can't see that. It's just like my skin tone, basically. And then the shade Sam. It's very beautiful. It's more like a peachy pink. I love it. Yes, so those are the shades so far. Then the last palette, of course, I pulled in a palette that has 100 shadows in it. And I got the number 85, which is this, oh, I'll open it. This orange shade that I actually really like because I love orange makeup. Um, this one here which was pretty exciting because it could have been like in this beige area, but yeah, let me swatch that one. I actually really like this shade. It's uh, like a satin, but it's nice. It's this one here. So yeah, you can see how all those together is a look on its own but I just don't that's not how I do my eyeshadow like I don't like I said in the beginning I don't like reach into this palette for this shade and then another one for another shade it's just not how I like to do things but those are the shadows um well these are still this one is still in the project because I only used it once and <laughs> I need to use this palette four more times same with the new prism, if I didn't say that. I only used it once also. So, because we are rolling out the ABH Sultry and the Barbarella, that means I'm going to replace it with two more. Because another like rule is that I, I'm always working on five palettes. So five palettes, I have to use them five times each, and I have to use the focus shade each time. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to choose the palettes with my Tiny Decisions app, which is looking kind of crazy. Is this even up to date? 
I just got a boxy charm today, <laughs> so and I did get a palette in there. So let me just add it. It was Beauty Bakery. Well, it's called Proof is in the Puddin', but I just wrote Puddin'. Anyway, I think that's that should be up to date now. I did also order the Perfect World collection from Odin's Eye, but I didn't get it yet. Uh, so <laughs> those won't be part of this. Anyway, let's roll, let's spin the wheel for the two eyeshadow palettes. Ooh, Dominique Cosmetics Latte. That's one of my favorite palettes, so that's exciting. Next one. That's not focusing, is it? Kaja Poppy Champagne. That's a, like a little stack, a trio. Do those count? <laughs> I don't think that should count. Because that's too easy. Also, it doesn't fit in my eyeshadow organizer. <laughs> okay, let's roll again. It has to be like an actual palette. Not a single or a trio. Oh, the ABH Mario palette. That is very exciting. I've been thinking about that palette lately. Um, yeah. Great. So let me get those palettes and then we'll roll, we'll spin the, I'll spin, not we. I mean, just me here. <laughs> I'll do the pretty random app to choose the shade in each palette. Okay, so here is the Domini Cosmetics Latte Palette. It's very pretty. I have a video on this, I'm pretty sure. I can try to remember to link it below. So they, there's 10 shades in the palette. So I'm gonna roll between one and 10. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Ooh. I don't, I have never touched this shade, it seems, but I really like it. It's the shade Espresso. It's this one here. Let's swatch it. Ooh, it's very pretty. It's like, um, like a pewtery bronze shade. Or more like a taupe, maybe. Ooh, <laughs> fun. Okay, so there's the shade Espresso. So I'm gonna have to use this palette five times and every look has to include the shade Espresso. I think that makes more sense now, hopefully. <laughs> then my Master Palette by Mario from ABH, of course. This palette has 12 shades in it, and it looks like this. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection, so this is very exciting. <laughs> I'm trying to do this holding the palette. Four. One. One, two, three, four. The shade Muse. Okay, this looks like a nice, like, rich brown shimmer. Oh, Kind of has, like, a rosiness to it. It's so beautiful. I forgot <laughs> how good that palette is. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, very, like, grungy so far two grungy like looks I'm gonna get using each of those shades and those palettes but I'm okay with that great okay so these are my new palettes well only two of them are new three of them are from before but I'm very excited about this and yeah so for next time I 
might have met my goal on the elf cream and sugar probably because i think yeah i don't film this update like monthly so i'll probably only film the, uh, the update when it's time to roll this one out so this will be like my focus one and then we'll see about the rest but i'm very excited to use these two palettes they're very old especially this makeup by mario well not makeup by mario <laughs> the this was before Makeup by Mario even existed, so yeah, that's how old that is. Um, the formula still seems fine. It looks, I mean, it's the typical like dusty formula that I like. So I'm excited to pull out some older palettes in my collection and get more use on them. I don't know what this piece of hair is doing today. It's very annoying. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, that is my finale slash intro, I guess, to my Pan Those Eyeshadows project for 2023. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, let me know below if you are doing like any eyeshadow themed project pens. There's so many of them and I would love to do more, but I my brain cannot focus on more than <laughs> what I'm doing already. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!